Today on the net, Operation Mushtarak in Afghanistan is widely commented upon on the web. The Vancouver Olympic Games are also unfolding online. And a serious game to raise youth awareness on internet safety. Launched on Saturday, Operation Mushtarak, meaning together, is the biggest joint offensive in Afghanistan since the intervention of foreign forces in 2001. Over 15,000 soldiers are taking part, objective to reclaim the town of Marja in the Helmand province, a Taliban center for their logistical and opium smuggling network, an operation followed on the web. On NATO's online channel, a report explains the particularity of this operation. Led jointly by international forces and the Afghan army, it's a first. Is in its youth. On the website of NATO's International Security Assistance Force, you can watch videos of soldiers preparing for the offensive when they get into a helicopter on Saturday as the operation was getting underway. In three days, eight NATO soldiers have been killed. The specialist site, iCasualties, specifies that altogether 74 NATO soldiers have been killed since the beginning of 2010. Following 2009, the bloodiest year yet for the international forces, with 520 deaths. On this blog, this analyst questions the legitimacy of such an operation. He wonders about the effects of this type of offensive against the Taliban, and up to what point NATO should continue down this road. Meanwhile, to shed different light on the conflict, two NATO sergeants have launched the web project 30 Days Through Afghanistan. Nathan Gallahan and Kenneth Raimondi have begun their tour of the country, which they relate on their website, made up of a blog, videos and photos, from the main command post to Afghan villages. Objective, give a more transparent picture of the situation. The Vancouver Winter Olympic Games started this weekend and will continue until the 28th of February. Many sources are available on the net for web users to follow the competition as if they were there. The official website of the 2010 Games is teeming with information on the competition's different events and athletes. A large number of videos are also available online, videos which do not talk solely about sport. Several reports, like these ones, are devoted to learning about the host city and the activities available outside of the Games. Via the service Google Maps, Google takes you on a virtual visit of the different areas in which the games are taking place. It's even possible to see the slopes, which will be used for the downhill events in particular, in three dimensions. This was made possible by using snowmobiles, as we see in this video. And thrill seekers will not be left behind, thanks to this site, which provides web users with a simulator, on which they can tear down the alpine ski slopes of Vancouver. An even more original site is Twitter Athletes, which lists all those athletes competing in Vancouver who have a Twitter account. It's a way to follow the competition through the eyes of those competing and to see how they think the games are going. Finally, certain are favoring the web as a tool to denounce the Olympic Games and, in particular, the overwhelmingly large cost it entails for the host city. Several websites and Facebook groups have been set up to bring together anti-Olympic campaigners so that they can coordinate their events. EMI Music has just accepted to make its entire library of music videos available to Daily Motion, news which should delight music lovers, who, from the month of April, will be able to watch video clips from artists such as Snoop Dogg, Lily Allen and also Coldplay on the video sharing platform. The objective of this online serious game called 2025X Machina and financed by the European Union is to raise awareness amongst 12 to 16 year olds on internet safety. The game is presented as an interactive thriller which is broken down into six episodes which will be put on the net gradually from now until this autumn. Amongst other things, the episodes will deal with social networks, blogs, forums and also online games. Microphone. Following on from Guitar Hero and Rock Band, two video games where you could step into the shoes of the greatest in rock, here's Accordion Hero, the fake game which introduces you to this old-fashioned instrument, the accordion, a satirical video put online by the comedy site latincomedyproject.org.